What's up, everybody? This is Darius. Um, this is about the fourth or fifth time my video has crashed. So, I'm trying to remember everything I said. I haven't said anything so far. Alright, so, I'm still in Philly. Um, got fired from a job. Really stupid reasons. I think they just didn't want me there because I was... I don't know. Like, my vibe is just very different, I guess. From everybody I worked with. Not very corporate, even though I was professional and... And did all that stuff. They just, they've been tripping. But it's cool because I think it's actually a really blessing. And I felt that way ever since I knew they were still trying to screen me or whatever. So, I applied for unemployment already. Like the day after I got fired. Food stamps, all that shit. It takes months to get on it here. Usually, my girlfriend still hasn't been able to get on it. And whatever. It's just like. A thousand hoops jump through. They say you don't qualify at least three times before anything. You know, it's I totally qualify, but they keep um, like switching it up, saying that oh, we need to check your um, how much money you made in California and all this stuff, which doesn't have anything to do with it because I live here now and I lost my job here. So I don't know. So this is like a bunch of hoops. On the bright side of things, um, everything in my personal life is going great. The place where I live is just amazing my roommates are totally awesome i'm planning on doing a lot of work on this house i'm trying to um first of all i'm gonna clean the shit out of it because it's like it is really just like a hoarder house kind of and like filthy in a lot of ways which i don't really mind certain things being filthy but i don't know i actually started paying rent and shit now so maybe i mind a little bit about the kitchen and stuff like that so i'm gonna start doing that um I got one of the most excellent offers to one of the things that I really want to do, which is bartend. Um, I got an on-call barback position at this gay leather bar in Philly. It's called The Bike Stop, and it's my favorite bar. Like, when I visited here, you know, before I moved here, like, six months before I moved or whatever, like, I was like, yo, like, this is my favorite bar. Like, all the other bars, gay bars, I'm not into, like, I just like dive bars, punk bars whatever and this is a dive bar so and I love leather and I love gay people so it kind of works um so I'm gonna be doing that one of the owners actually all the owners are like basically like punks so you know super awesome um <laughs> try to play some limp wrist or something sneak some of that into the jukebox maybe but um so yeah that's one thing that happened actually yesterday when I was doing the door at my girlfriend's party, I helped carry some equipment and stuff up, but mostly I was just doing the door stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, socializing with all the, the lovely people around and everything, so that was cool. Um, so yeah, the place I live is awesome. My tea's still the same. Well, actually, it's a little bit different because I started doing uh, 0.5 milliliters weekly to kind of keep the... The tea juice is more regular, I guess, in my system. Instead of doing it every two weeks for the last couple of days, it's kind of like you feel a little bit, I don't know, not as pumped up, I guess, not as energized. So I've been doing that. Um, trying to start really working out more. I've been doing a little bit more since I've been around more, but tomorrow's Punk Rock Flea Market. I'm going to try to give me some weights um, and definitely some cupcakes, which probably doesn't go with weights very well. That's all right. Because I'll eat the cupcakes first, and then I'll deal with the rest later. Um, also, some other things I've been doing recently is um, i really, really been trying to definitely like get jobs that I am invested in, that I want to do, and not just jobs that pay bills. That's great and everything. If I had to, I would, but it takes too much time away from me really going after what I want to go after. So if I don't have to, absolutely have to, I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to start trying to, um, stud, stud things on the side for money, whatever. Obviously, like, <clears throat> it's really easy to do, but there's just some people that have no idea, um, how to do it, or maybe they don't have a lot of time. So, I'm going to do that. So, that's another thing I'm going to do. And, um, basically, it's almost Christmas and it's almost my birthday. I'm not sure if I mentioned this because this is 
like I said, one of the succession of seven videos. I don't remember. But yeah, mm -hmm. that's coming up. We're going to throw a big combined party here for me, one of my roommates, and uh, another friend of my roommate. And that should be pretty awesome because we have a really big space. Unfortunately, I haven't moved into the third story yet because we had an issue um, with a person that was living in the third story. Um, so he hasn't moved out yet. So we have a bunch of stuff like kind of behind a couch, but we still have enough space really to do what we need to do as long as we clear it out and like make sure it stays cleared out uh, for the party. So I think we're going to be having a solstice party. We're going to be having uh, my birthday party, Christmas, probably not so much a party, but like more of a get together or something. You know, I'm hoping to go to a show on maybe on Christmas night or something. That's usually what I do on Christmas. So either that or, um, do drugs for Jesus because that's like, it's more like honor him and stuff like that. Um, so maybe I'll do some of that. I don't know. So yeah, that's basically what's going on. Um, I have a couple questions for people. I was wondering about that DHT cream. Basically, like, I know how it works. You just apply it to certain areas, and um, I think it maybe makes that area less have less of a fat percentage and it's like a direct apply so it you know works i was wondering you know how expensive is the dhd cream and approximately without insurance obviously i can get it prescribed um by a doctor which i do have and like where you apply it like where it works best for you i guess um so that's one of my questions. Also, I've been doing some research on, um, you know, surgeons. And I actually found one, and I swear to God, I didn't know that she operated in Philly. But she's a female. For, first of all, that's great for, like, a trans surgeon. Like, I'm totally good with that. Super pro, awesome feminist, blah, 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 greatness. And, um... She's super kind. Apparently, she like has visited some people at their house. She is part of this mixtape program that operates in the tri-state area. <clears throat> it's if if you're chosen um, based on like community um, involvement and financial stuff. If you're chosen, they have one every couple months, I think, and you just apply, and then she takes um, two grand off the surgery, and you can also use it to, you know, raise money and stuff like that as well for even more of the surgery. So I'm looking into getting a consultation with her. She's only about probably 30 or 40 minutes on the bus away from where I am right now. Not bad at all, considering most surgeons are across the country or something. Um, so I need to get a consultation with her. I've been learning about things I need to avoid during surgery. Um, obviously, I probably need to quit smoking. I definitely need to quit smoking certain food, certain herbal stuff um, that kind of interferes with the healing. So that's one thing. At least I don't have any um, travel costs. I don't have any really any extra food costs or hotel costs or anything because I'm like right here. So that's extremely fortunate. I'm going to apply to the mixtape program probably like tonight or tomorrow. And I'm also going to see about um, getting an appointment with Mazzoni to get my name changed. Because I think they have a way they do it that's easier than just trying to battle through the whole legal system yourself, which is not really my cup of tea. Not something I sit down and I'm like, I think I would like to battle through the legal system to get my name changed today. That sounds like a great thing for me to do. Not. So that's one thing I'm going to do. Hopefully pretty soon. And it's Christmas. i got to find out a way to get people presents. I don't know if I'll have to rob some people or what. That's a joke probably but I gotta get some presents for my girlfriend because she's been pretty awesome recently and everything and everything's been good so I definitely want to try to get her something she really wants you know because even though I'm not like really the biggest fan of Christmas I really like presents a lot I love presents and I will accept presents from anyone if you privately um, you know message me I will accept all your presents in, including hate mail, poop in a box, things of that nature. I also enjoy those presents, actually, probably more than real presents. So keep that in mind, everybody. 
Um, so yeah, I also love giving presents too. But I kind of like getting them a little bit more, to be honest with you. But I also enjoy giving them. It depends, you know. I don't like feeling forced to give somebody a present. That kind of sucks. But <clears throat> so that's one thing I've been doing. I've been going to the food banks and taking as much food as I can for myself and my house and my family and shit. So I've been making lots of carrot juice because I brought home 15 pounds of carrots the other day. Like, I was like a carrot Santa kind of. Like, I had a big ass bag of carrots strapped in the back. And I was going to go do a bunch of stuff afterwards. And then I realized after I go to the food bank, I'm just way too strapped down with, like, I don't know, like vegetables, like that vegetable patrol or something. So I can't really do much of anything really besides waddle around to the bus stop, strapped down with mad like potatoes and shit like that, which isn't really that cool. But you know what? I got potatoes, so that's what's up. Um, and I do love free things as well, so that's also what's up. That's one thing I'm looking into is the consultations. I'm gonna think I'm gonna look into the cream as well and the name change. So yeah, I feel like pretty helpful. I think 2013 is going to be a lot better than 2012. 2012 was way too much transition for me. I just want to find a spot that, you know, a work a work spot that's real, real, I fit into. And, you know, I think I found one as long as this one pans out. So, pans out, so. yeah, I guess really that's probably about it. That's all I have, I guess. Um... Feel free to let me know about tips for, you know, pre-surgery, pre-top surgery, during surgery and after surgery you might have, and any experience with DHT cream or anything like that, um, let me know. I'm also going to start trying to book my um, benefit shows or benefit shows and, and probably benefit parties and stuff like that for uh, my top surgery. So I'm going to cross my fingers as that's coming up pretty soon. My back is hurting real bad, you know in the binder and I really need some money um my mixtape program to help me work it out so yeah anyways I'll see y'all later all right peace from Philly <laughs>